get up. Good morning, you guys. We are going to London. We are now actually on our second trip um, from my place to the airport because I stupidly left my passport at home. <laughs> So we've just spent an hour going there and back. Um, so we're going to head to the airport. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> um, my mum's there already, so I will meet her there. And we'll go into a couple of lounges and it should be a fun flight. truth guys I was thinking about just taking a nap when I got to the hotel though they were like oh you booked it for the night before and because you didn't show up we cancelled your reservation what the lady was like okay we cancelled your reservation but we can book you back in because you've still got the five days left and so um and then she was like oh but unfortunately we gave your room up so your room's no longer available I had to check in my luggage with the hotel and I was absolutely re like it was just awful my face was crappy my hair was greasy I hadn't showered because I was in the plane for 24 hours I didn't shower I wanted to come home oh sorry I wanted to come to the hotel and shower and I couldn't do that so instead between 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock I had to go and find something to do before coming back to the hotel um, so I ended up going um, to Hyde Park which is thankfully just a five minute walk from the hotel and I just did a lot of sightseeing around there there are some beautiful sculptures Buckingham Palace in the distance um, uh, a lot of memorials and um, yeah just so oh, sorry it is now five o'clock I am going to take a quick nap for a few hours and then I'm going to have a very chill night tonight I'm probably just gonna put on a movie and I'm going to just um, eat uh, have some uh, have some room service go to the gym work out get my body active and then tomorrow will be a fresh day Ooh, good morning you guys I am now all ready um, I don't can't remember where I left off with you guys but um, I am going out for a day of museums and culture um, so I'm going to be visiting the Natural History Museum first um, uh, because I had a look on their website and everything looks really amazing um, they have like this huge skeleton of like a whale um, in like one of their big halls so I'm really excited to see that and then after that I'm also going to be visiting the Science Museum there's a really cool exhibition it's all interactive it's called the Science Fiction beyond the realm of imagination or something and basically you are taken into this like interactive experience like all the props in different like science fiction movies and stuff and I'm actually a huge fan of science fiction so I'm actually really excited about that yeah to me that all sounds really fun I don't know about you guys you guys are probably like mm, not for me um, but obviously I'm here for nine days so there's plenty of time for other things like um, going to the London Eye seeing Big Ben the Kensington Palace um, but today I thought I would take it really easy 
Okay guys, so today I am wearing um, something that is very kind of simple, um, nothing too kind of like overdone. Um, this is a uh, Valentino uh, shirt. Um, it's a couture collection shirt with their um, eye print and I just thought that this is really um, suitable, like really appropriate for the science fiction exhibition that I'm going to. And then um, also I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton uh, wide leg jeans because I want to be super duper comfortable. Um, and then for shoes, I am wearing my Hermes uh, daytime sneakers with the Kelly belt. Um, sorry, the Kelly buckle. I have a reservation at 1.30 to get into the museum and I am running late. So I will take you guys around today and I'll see you on the other side. day it's been amazing like you guys would have seen in my snippets um, of all of the exhibitions that I went to the galleries um, I've got more planned for tomorrow but I have been out non-stop walking around and just admiring the exhibitions and looking at everything loved loved the natural history museum the skeletons there the fossils everything you know the genuine sizing of everything was just amazing like you could see the huge whale skeleton the dinosaur fossils um and the dinosaurs that were like animated were so cute and i love that um the science museum was fantastic as well the science museum was basically um just you know sci-fi stuff and like looking at the steam engines and the development of history um and i will say there were some really creepy moments in the medicine section the medicine exhibition of the science museum that was like wow um you guys would have seen like the skeletons and like you know the dissection of like the human anatomy and it was just oof it was crazy but it was really good though like a good kind of crazy now my plan is to just rest relax and i'll probably not see you guys until tomorrow Good morning you guys and welcome back to another day. Um, today we have more uh, museums and exhibitions so I am I'm so excited today. I'm going to be visiting um, the K-pop exhibition, which is at the V and A. I think it's called the Victoria and Albert Museum. So it's basically this exhibition that explores the cultural influences, um, the worldwide cultural influences that K-pop has had, and um, you know the waves that it made back in I think like you know 2000 and maybe like 12 or 2010 when it first started and the worldwide phenomenon that is K-pop um, and I think that's really interesting so I'm going to go explore that and then um, there is also another one for uh, Donatello the Renaissance um, sculptor and um, it's just you know going to be exploring his artworks and stuff and I'm really excited about that because I really do love that kind of thing when it comes to art and sculptures and stuff like that I really love that so I'm excited about that 
before I head off, I will show you guys what I'm wearing. Today I have got a bit of a simple outfit again, um, flat shoes because um, my heels, sorry, my feet still hurt from my heels, but basically I'm wearing my brand new Max Mara shirt with the puffy um, shoulders, uh, so it gives my uh, kind of upper body a little bit of volume and it kind of helps to cinch in my waist as well. So with that I am wearing my Zara high-waisted pants kind of look like riding pants um, but they really kind of highlight your waist and your backside <laughs> and then um, for my belt this is my Fendi um, reversible F logo belt um, on the other side is pink on this side is black so obviously I'm going with a black and gold black and gold on my shoes and these are my Chloe Susanna boots which were all the rage back in 2000 and 13, 2014, um, or 16 or something like that. And then obviously I'm going with my Louis V uh, Capucines with the um, python strip in the black and uh, black leather and gold hardware. So I am all gold today and I'm gonna slap on some jewelry as well. wrong train so I was on the tube I think that's what people call it here and I got lost um, I tried to look um, for the right train and um, I went on the wrong one and I changed I tried I had to change um, change lines to go from you know one line to another and I just got lost and then I ended up being like an hour spending an hour on the train and I was like almost in tears because I was like, this is so frustrating. I'm trying to get on the right train and I just can't work it out. So I ended up just like getting out at like whoop whoop, this random st uh, station. And I'm like, screw this. I'm just going to catch an Uber. Oh my God, you guys, the museum is beautiful. Like you just would not see that anywhere in Australia. The stone marble columns, the architecture behind it, the, the sculptures and everything was just so, so good. And you guys would have seen like snippets of me um, showing you guys the wall you, um, no, not wall you, the hall you um, exhibition, as well as the Dontello exhibition. And they were so beautiful, so magnificent. And I just think that they are so, so lovely. It was just so nice. It's my last night that I have that I'm like free, you know? So I just really want to take this opportunity to just kick back, relax. Um, I'm going to eat a little bit, um, you know, some room service, and then I'm going to go to the gym, work out, um, and then just relax. Do a face mask tonight. It'll be super nice. My food is finally here. It looks so amazing. Yum! So I have the beef ragu and then some chips and I have the cheesecake, the baked cheesecake. And it has fairy floss in it. This is actually like amazing. 
Mm, so good. Oh my god. I cannot wait to dig into this. Oh, okay. Um, there is uh, that room service uh, restaurant downstairs. Um, sorry, I say room service, but actually, um, it's actually like this amazing restaurant um, called Tyburn. It's like right outside um, the lift in the lobby for Hilton. Um, and it's just a really nice place. So instead of getting like room service, oh, I call it the room service restaurant because it's like right there. Um, so yeah, I just got this food and it's so, so nice. I had their pizza last night um, at like 3am. Uh, not last night, two nights ago at like 3am because I was like jet lagged. Delicious. And their food was amazing. And that's actually the reason why I've decided to come back and try out their beef ragu. Let's try it out. Oh my God. It's so good. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to eat on camera because I do not have a flattering face to eat on camera. So I'm going to hang up, guys, and I will see you guys on the other side. Good morning, guys. We are doing a little bit of a face mask today because we have the Harry Potter show happening. I'm so excited. It's like a full day event. It's going from 1 p.m. all the way up to, I think, 9 p.m. So I've just finished breakfast um, downstairs in the hotel, and now I am getting ready. I'm doing up my hair. I'm doing my face. I'm going to shower. Um, so we have another full day event. So I'm going to go see the Harry Potter show because everyone was like, if you go to London, you need to see a London theatre production. So I'm going to go see Harry Potter because I wanted to see them when I was in Melbourne, but I didn't get to. Sorry, not when I was in Melbourne, when the Harry Potter theatre production was in Melbourne, because they were touring the world, I didn't get to see it. So obviously now that I'm in London, it's on, it's the home of Harry Potter, so of course I'm gonna go see it um, in all its original glory. I'm gonna head off now, just wanted to check in with you guys, and I'll see you guys on the other side. guys we are back so today I have something pretty low-key I'm just going to visit yet another museum um, this time it is the British Museum so I've just finished um, my breakfast I'm wearing a bit of a sparkle today because I am going to um, have a dinner um, this evening with one of my ex colleagues so she moved here from Australia um, to London of course and she's been working here for maybe like five years now, I think. Um, so we're just going to have a dinner and catch up. So I just thought I would uh, wear something a little bit evening-ish. I'll show you my complete outfit in a second. Um, but yeah, so today's going to be a very low-key day. Um, I have been doing museums because I have the first four days here by myself. And so I am visiting all of the places that um, I wanted to visit um, because I know that when I'm with my mum, which will be from the 23rd to the 26th, those three days, um, she's not going to want to look at museums. She doesn't want to look at like cultural stuff or architecture stuff. So I am taking this opportunity to visit these cultural things. And then the next few days, we are going to see the Big Ben, Tower of London, St. Paul's Cathedral. Then we're going to check out the London Eye, which is that massive Ferris wheel. Um, we're going to do the London River Cruise. So we do have a lot more sightseeing in the next few days. Um, so that's coming up. And um, yeah, and then we're going to have a few nice restaurants as well, which I'll show you guys. We've got Duck and Waffle, which is a really highly rated fine dining restaurant. Then we've also got um, 
Gong, which is a bar in the Shard on the top 52nd floor, which is the tallest building in London. So we're going to have some really nice views. And then we're going to have dinner at Sky Garden. Um, and it's like fully booked three weeks in advance. And so we're really lucky to be able to get in there. Um, and it's like the tallest um, like garden uh, in London. And I, I think the world, I'm not sure, but it's like on, it's like, 10 floors up or something like that. It's really tall. It's this beautiful, um, basically this beautiful oasis. Like think, um, think Singapore. Um, oh, what's that garden called? Like there's that Singapore garden. Um, but think like that elevated on a building. That's what it's going to be like. So it's going to be super exciting. All right. So I'll show you guys what I am wearing and then we will head off. Today, like I said, it is going to be super low key. I am just wearing my Versace um, like dinner jacket. It's not a jacket, it's more like a sweater. Um, and it's got these Swarovski crystals and this um, uh, Versace pattern. And it's this really beautiful green. I got this a few years ago. Um, so it's been like in my wardrobe for a while. Um, I am wearing my Zara high-waisted pants because these come up really high. And that's good because this top um, sits up pretty high as well. So I need to wear high-waisted pants because otherwise you'll be able to see like my skin and um, in London it's still a little bit cold at the moment because it's just coming out of winter. Now um, for shoes, I'm wearing my Stuart Weitzman boots um, with the one-inch heel because I want to be comfortable because <laughs> I'm going to be walking and I'm going to be looking at, um, you know, more museums and sightseeing today. So doing touristy stuff, you definitely want to be um, comfortable with like a short heel. And then for my bag, obviously I'm wearing my um, Birkin 30 in um, Few, which is like fire, um, an orangey color and silver hardware to match my Swarovski crystals. Um, okay, so I am pretty much done and that's it. So I will see you guys in a little bit.
come in. Give me a wipe on that. Of course, of course. Hi guys! Oh my gosh, it has been such a whirlwind of a journey um, so far, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is actually my last um, uh, day and I am going to be signing off because it has just been such a whirlwind. I haven't been able to um, film and sit down with you guys to talk because the last couple of days have been crazy. So you guys would have seen that we went to amazing restaurants, the views and everything were so good. Um, really, truly the last two days, I really experienced London, I feel like to the fullest and it was just really amazing. Um, I think London is probably like one of my top three favorite cities now. So I'm really, really happy that I got the opportunity to come and visit and have an amazing time. So the first few days, was just exploring the architecture, the buildings, the museums, and places that, um, you know, my mum wouldn't really know how to appreciate, like museums and galleries and exhibitions. Um, so yeah, like that stuff, I went by myself. And so the last couple of days with my mum um, has been a whirlwind. I haven't been able to chat to you guys because it's just been um, really crazy. It's just been nonstop, back to back to back to back with things. Um, but today's my last day. My mum is gone um, to finish off her dance competition and I am flying home tonight um, in a few hours. So I just wanted to say the trip has been amazing and if you guys ever get the chance to visit London I really truly hope that you do because it's a fantastic place. Um, the views the last few days that I have had were amazing, saw Big Ben, Tower of London, um, Tower Bridge, uh, what else? I saw um, the Shard, I went to um, Sky Garden, like the places that London has are just incredible and I just love it so much. So I am super happy with my trip, but alas, it is time to go home. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this amazing journey. I really hope that you um, were able to see London in the way that I saw it, um, as best that I could show you guys, for you guys to see London through my lenses. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. You can see my room is an absolute mess. I have so much packing to do. And yes, I, I am in a crazy rush. So I'm gonna sign off. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.